you see a great movie, Heather. Yes. And, you know, and because a great movie has a marquee name attached to it, whether it's Eve or Nicki Minaj or... Common. Or Ice Cube. Yeah, all that, all that. Sometimes you tend to overlook the performances of other marquee names who probably haven't been in the business as long as them. <coughs> Marco Bingham. <coughs> to, to Mark. <coughs> Marco <coughs> Bingham. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and they put in a lot of work. I mean, like Boardwalk Empire. Yep. You know, it's a lot of stuff that she's done. Singer, songwriter, she's been on tour. Probably her biggest, maybe, moment in her life, milestone moment, may have been when she came up here and sang with us. Oh, that's a fact. I, I don't know. If she's back, ladies and gentlemen. We just had Spike Lee here talking about the remake or the adaptation series. She's got to have it on Netflix and one of the actors uh, that he talked about is here with us right now. The lovely Margo Bingham Margo! is here. Margo, hey, M to the B. Did he really up, talk Margo? about me? It's just no, more, he didn't. It no, yeah, for the yeah, intro, yeah. Margo. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh my God! Yeah. You had to ask. <laughs> At least you told the truth. Yeah, I know. I really, I really appreciate truth. Okay. Honestly. Honest. I'm not I'm a little sour, but I'm not like uber sour. Okay, so the truth is the truth is that he hates me. He didn't, no, he doesn't <laughs> oh, hate God. you. No, he didn't. Hate he just is didn't, a powerful yeah, word. For sure. Um I actually was going to gonna ask him about it, but then he kind of went off into his own thing cuz I remember I started asking him about like the new actors and actresses that he's discovered throughout mm -hmm. his career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he kind of just like took over from there and I didn't really get a chance to ask yeah. the question. So I, we were going to ask about it. the new I cast. I appreciate yeah. the thought. But I'm not going to tell thought. Spike Lee to, you know, he didn't want to interrupt. Shut up. Neither would I. <laughs> right. Neither you know. would I. For yeah. sure. For Margo sure. Bingham is here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? But we back. How you been? I'm so good. It's so good to see you. I know. All. It's so good to see you. Yes, so good yes. To see you. Yes. What, what, I'm scanning the room as I'm saying. Yeah, no, right. Everybody getting a little bit of eye contact. Um, when I think of Margot, though, I, 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 I know you're a well-rounded, talented, creative person. Thank you. But I and and when you uh and you do these roles, you do these powerful roles. I was really got hooked on you on Boardwalk Empire, as you know. Um, I can't wait to see you in this. But I still see singer. Really. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, no, it's not. It, it, I'd here's be wanting to hear you sing. Here's the thing. Yeah. I So I think that it's incredible that artists get to express themselves through what they love to do. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. this is a quality and something that a lot of people strive and dream of. Yeah. Um, I basically get to go in and just put on and put on clothes and play pretend all day that's what mm -hmm. that's what I get to do I get mm -hmm. to imagine use my imagination and bring it to life I also get to possibly bring real life conversations to a head and discuss them and have no matter what your political party is have no. everybody watch it mm -hmm. just because it's entertainment yes and it has the flashy lights so yes. that's super super cool that I am like a total biased platform that's awesome yes and I love it um I love that I get to do acting and music, and I love dancing as well. But I, uh, I just music. I just haven't been able to find my you voice been yet. Able to find it. Okay. No. I understand. And I no, maybe doesn't... maybe like a producer will come along one day and be like, I know what you should sound like. Uh huh. And then I'll do that. Shout out producers. Uh, DJ Wonder is a producer. Rich Knight. Yeah. Rich Knight has worked with everybody hey. from R. Kelly to Jennifer Lopez hey. to, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, then let me ask you this, Marco, because mm -hmm. she's got to have it was revolutionary in a sense because you never really saw a woman in that role, especially a woman of color mm -hmm. who, um, who, um, Exercise her sexual sexuality, appetite. her sexual appetite Thank in you. the way that men do. Mm -hmm. um, and then we talked to Spike Lee about did when he first made the film, did he get any backlash about portraying his life? And this is what he had to say. Did you get any backlash from the church? Oh, we got backlash, but it was, it was feminists. You know, they were okay. feminists who thought that Nola was a a, a feminist character, and then there were feminists who said that that you know it was a, a, a proliferation of the of the sexual black woman so we got it from both sides hmm. how, how much mm -hmm. can you identify with uh the the noah care nola darling character i think that there's a, as myself or as clorinda as my character as yourself as myself i can definitely identify with her she doesn't necessarily know what she wants but she knows she's worth it 
Okay. And she mm. she walks with a sense of confidence and strength that I think is every woman's dream mm-hmm. to be able to walk with an unforgiving strength like like Nola Darling does. Mm-hmm. And I think it's beautifully written. Uh, I think at the time, maybe it was controversial, obviously because, go figure, women could not ever have multiple sexual partners. Oh, and, that about? And also be educated at the same time and not be homeless. Oh, and she's black. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, like, that's all, that was all crazy. Um, cut to 2017, where it's still a little bit taboo to, it's not so much taboo to have multiple sexual partners, but it's taboo to be able to be at the, the head of them and dangling the men mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like women don't have that kind of power it's, it's, yeah the, dang, it's the dangle that got, got under men's skin I it, think. you the even dangle. shift in your chair you didn't like that yeah, you what didn't you like said, that you, said dangle, I you, you got didn't like that you didn't like that yeah <laughs> men don't like not having the power yeah. and it's crazy that uh that women really do like. women women really do have that kind of power and it's it's crazy that most women don't realize that they do so that's that is what I really love about Nola Darling because she kind of she evokes that power out of me and she makes me realize that yeah I could do that I'm worth that. I like that Margot Bingham is here. You like that Heather B? I love it. I already told you. Yeah, let's evoke that strength, let's girl. Evoke that strength. I'll, let's I'll, evoke that I'll be strength. dangled. Okay, I'm okay with it. I'll be dangled. Submit, <laughs> now, now, Surely yeah. I'll be dangled. Well, now he's relaxed. In, in, in the series, you, you and, and the rest of Nola's friends that are in her inner circle, mm-hmm. they kind of question, like, how do you do this? And is this cool? And there's, there's all these questions that arise. I mean, would you ever consider doing this actually in, in your own personal life, like dating multiple men at the same time? Absolutely. I think uh, I think especially in New York, we're in like a hub where that happens all the time. I talk to friends all the time that they have a girlfriend or a boyfriend on the Lower East Side, Upper West Side and then Brooklyn. You know, they hop around and nobody knows each other Mm -hmm. because they're all over the different boroughs. And it's okay as long as you're honest with people. You know, if you're if that's what you want to do, then God bless. That's what you that's what you want to do. I think as a, a role, as the character Clorinda in the show, she was asking her that because she was so she's so buttoned up and she's so self-conscious a little bit you know she she lives vicariously through nola darling all of her artwork everything every ounce of her freedom she lives through her so when she talks about her sexual partners she also lives through her you know it's like kikiing and it's very freeing and it's very like it's very spicy and it's a life that she probably will never have the balls to live so that's kind of cool Margo's doing a great job <laughs> of selling this. <laughs> this <series. laughs> oh my God! So we we'll make it okay. I mean, it's Spike Lee. It's so it's so easy to sell it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, all kind of like I'm just like, <laughs> lady, go, go ahead, ho. It's okay. You, it's, it's okay. Not ho- it's not uh, hoeing. Is it? Is it? Okay, is it, is it? Is it hoeing for men to yes, sleep around? Yes. Okay. Okay. So Mar- then so- it's hoeing. <laughs> <laughs> then we all hoes. So Margo. <laughs> Like that dumb shit, Sway. Like that dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> we fooling, y'all. We all owe it. It's okay. We oh, He got to have it. She got to have it. <laughs> you got to have it. We got to have it. Everyone's got to have, have it. There's a song coming. Okay. So, Marco, this is one of my favorite movies from Spike Lee because it really yeah. represents the fundamentals of Spike Lee's work in mm-hmm. terms of being controversial, stirring national conversation. Uh, in, in current day and times, in sort of a Nolan Darling and representing sexuality, we're having this national debate on what is a feminist and, and what is feminism, um, in particular when it comes to females expressing their sexuality. Uh, there's been some actresses who've come out and you know been topless on covers of magazines and said that is them invoking their feminism. <laughs> what is your thoughts on that in terms of can sexuality in this day and age be a representation of feminism? I think sexuality can definitely be a representation of feminism. I think that the the most powerful thing about being a feminist is that you are in charge of your own feminism. Meaning, there is no definition on how to be a feminist. If that means that that's standing topless on a cover and that's how you feel empowered, that's great and and live your life. But if that means to me standing with a woman's march and marching, holding hands with my sisters, then that's that's fine, too. You know, I I think that sometimes things can get a little bit muddled and muddied uh, in our industry because we are on a platform. 
Um, I think that also the kind of platform that we're granted is not an everyday platform that everybody is granted. So you have to take it with a little bit of courage and you also have to take it with a little bit of responsibility for a younger generation. If you want to be a feminist, you also have to realize that women under you and younger than you and another generation and multiple generations are watching every step that you do. So if you're not embarrassed by what you do, that's fine, but stand for the little girls that are also watching you as well. But if you're embarrassed enough for those little girls, then you are not a feminist. Margot Bingham, ladies and gentlemen. Give out your social media, man. I think people just want to ask you questions. Liners, come at my liners. <laughs> Ooh, I got ooh, one-liners for you all you day, Sway. Oh, you, day. Should we throw a, bo- a oh, beat on? All day. Oh, my God. You know, no, didn't we do that last <laughs> time? Yeah, she backed down real quick. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Exercising her feminism to say no. All right, we're going to come back with some Celebrity Wire. How about that? If you want to talk to Margo, 888-742-3345. Yeah, we got to talk about our friend Russell Simmons. <laughs> it's time for Celebrity Wire on Sway in the Morning. Oh, God, here we go. On Shade 45. And we're joined by Margot Bingham, who's playing Clorinda on Bradford, a new series she got to have it premiering November 23rd on Thanksgiving on Netflix. It's another Spike Lee joint. And she's here with us right now. Hey. Might have some. Ooh, you feel that beat? Hey. Uh, hey. Just seeing if you got something like that. Hey. I wasn't expecting you to drop that out. <laughs> All right, Coco, we got a lot of celebrity wire. Okay, go ahead. That's be what we got. That was about to be dope. Though. It was I'm about to, to be I'm dope. I'm trying to pull her in. Well, let me pull y'all into this. Maybe y'all will snap out of it and have some answers for me because oh, I'm God. just starting to think with all the news that's happening that Dave Chappelle was a genius. Rick James was a genius when he said cocaine is a powerful drug. I'm just blaming this all on Coke at this point. Okay. Here's why. Russell Simmons, we all know him. <laughs> we all respect him. We love him. He he got us involved in hip hop, if you will, Sway. As a Margo. child, I wanted to be Russell Simmons. Absolutely. So it pains me. When I read this story, it says a former model alleges that hip hop mogul Russell Simmons forced her to have sex with him when she was only 17 years old, a model fresh from Nebraska of Little Farm Town. And not only was she forced to have sex, but Mr. Brett, cocaine is a powerful drug, Ratner just sat there and watched this whole thing go down. Here are some details that happened once she was at his home. She is a legend that she fought him off kind of drastically he he grabbed her she grabbed him they went back and forth she said she fought it wildly but she's claiming that he coerced her into performing oral sex huh. and then when that wasn't enough she went into the shower but was followed by russell minutes later that's where he briefly penetrated her without her consent <laughs> now Russell has since issued an apology because here's the part that has one eyebrow raised, at least for some people. She spent two days in his apartment. So people are feeling like, well, if something happened, how come you didn't leave the first night and back and forth? She's 17 from the Midwest in the big city. What big she moguls? She was only 17. She, she didn't, you know, that's, she probably was she scared. Well, he's you know. 60 now and she's 43. He wrote a statement and just basically apologized and said he's a father of two teenage daughters, said um, he has even more reason to speak out against sexual harassment. He also went on to say that this was consensual. So I think this is going to be interesting. And what's even more interesting is that Brett Ratner, who can't get out of this news for nothing in the world, if you <laughs> melted and poured his ass out, he still would pop up somewhere because he's in every lowdown sexual yeah. thing that's happening. Scum. It's just been it's, it's been like this for years, though. It's just all coming to the surface now. Margo, I'm sure. Have you had your? Have you ever been approached by somebody inappropriately? I have. Yeah, I have. How'd I have a couple times. It? Yeah. Uh, you know, the first time, um, are we allowed to swear on here? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. I told clear. him to fuck off. Okay. Um, the second time, uh, I probably should have stood up for myself more. I th- I thought that it was I thought that it was just casual banter mm-hmm. when. 
I was not, he was not treating me as his equal. And it wasn't anything assaulting. It was just more verbal, but that's still an assault. Mm -hmm. And to speak on the the thing that was a two day thing for her, that Mm -hmm. it was a two day stay, Mm -hmm. it's the same thing that you were saying, Sway. Like, you know, just because if I, if I want to, as a woman, to say yes tomorrow, I can, but I still have every right to say no the next day. And mm-hmm. you still have to listen to me mm-hmm. because I have a right to my body. That's rape. That's mm-hmm. disgusting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it's two days and she said no, she said no. It doesn't matter if she stayed for five days. She said no. So mm-hmm. listen. And she's 17. 17. 17. 17. I don't care if she said yes. Yeah, you should have said no. Yeah. yeah, 17. No. Well, Mm-mm. I was. I still couldn't wrap my head around any of that because I've never been in that position. I didn't know what could have possibly taken place. So I kind of was like, well, we'll it's, see what happens. It's crazy. I it, mean, it's right. I, I do have to I like not to go too much into it. But as an actor, I think I think we're so ready and always to say yes. We're so open to always please and mm. say yes, because we desperately want to please people. We always want we never want to be the the problem. Mm-hmm. We constantly want to be the solution. And also solution means more success. And that's mm-hmm. for every way of life, no matter what your profession is. You mm-hmm. always want to be the solution. You never want to be the problem because problem also equals that you won't get work. And especially as a woman, if you're the woman that's a problem, you're a woman Mm -hmm. and you're not going to get work and then all of a sudden you get like any kind of association that you're a bitch or a diva or you're hard to work with and that stigma stays with you forever. So you constantly want to be the one pleasing and sometimes with that pleasure comes putting yourself last Mm -hmm. and anything that you think would have been right for yourself never comes up because you constantly just want to please and just say yes. And people ask, how come they never said anything sooner? Because it's probably the fear of being blackballed or never being allowed in any other right. audition. It's for the, reason, it's for the <laughs> reason that we're saying right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nobody, no woman ever comes forward because literally everybody's first response is, well, why didn't she come forward sooner? Yeah. Well, because it's all you don't believe us anyways. Mm-hmm. We, I mean, it takes a lot of strength to come forward, and then still you get criticized anyways. Like what? What guts that must take to stand up for yourself? And finally, when you like do, you're still criticized. Well, this That's happened, horrible. That's this exactly happened why they back don't. in 1991. So I couldn't wrap my head around it. I wasn't really sure who the model was, and I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. That didn't even do it for me with this one. I was still like, all right, <laughs> Russell, maybe you know it was a weird party night if you will, partying in parentheses. Big partying. But then Terry Crews stepped forward. And you remember he's been in the news because an agent, allegedly, by the name of Adam Vinette, a William Morris executive, stepped to him at a party, grabbed him in his private area, and Terry didn't want to come forward because he was afraid what would be said about him. Mm -hmm. He's a man. Well, Russell got wind of that story, and allegedly he emailed Terry Crews and said, did he ever apologize? And I quote, Did he ever apologize? Give the agent a pass. Ask that he be reinstated. This email was sent on November 3rd, 2017, which is like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. So so he wanted to protect the agent. So then I was like, well, maybe Terry is kind of like paraphrasing. He took the email, took a picture of his Mm. screenshot and put it on his Twitter. Good for him. And then he wrote, along with the screenshot, Terry Crews, who's 49, tweeted a message to Russell Simmons saying, no one gets a pass. So we'll see what happens with this. And I think that, to me, was more damaging than this whole story. Because this was two weeks ago, you know. Um, The woman telling her story, 1991, but this just happened. He tried to ask him to rep for the man. Okay, so, okay, what else you got? Like, let's get one uh, on the upbeat while Margo's still with us here. I almost had her singing now. She ain't never going to find her. Okay, well, speaking of singing, let's skip over this because, you know, a former girlfriend of the A-Rod used to go with her mama called A-Rod Stupid. Uh, what else I got? Kim Kardashian fired a couple of people. Well, you, well, you ever have an ex uh, who, who, who the... Uh, <laughs> Well, not oh, Margo. This is oh, good. Too. Let me just no, tell no, Margo no, a little no, bit no, of okay. it. Wait, wait, wait. Not only did his ex girlfriend's mama call him a moron, she okay. said that um, he had no academic background. Margo, oh, we couldn't have an intellectual conversation about anything. Oh, his main interest in life was something that none of us, she keeps putting herself in it, had ever focused on, which was baseball. Then she went on to add insult to injury and said, "I wish J Lo all the luck in the world." Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, no, you ain't got to comment on that, Marco. <laughs> yeah, I think that says enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that says enough. Any stories just speak for themselves. I'm going to give you a good one. Yeah. Go ahead. Congratulations to Diana Ross. 
She won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the AMAs last she night. She did? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh there we go. God. There we go. We got Margo oh back. Thank you, Slay, for bringing it back around. I was looking for scandal, Margo. I sorry. was asleep. I'm sorry. I was that's sleeping a, last night. That, that's indicative of our personalities. Heather's living for scandal. I'm, I'm, I'm living for positivity. That's amazing. She yeah. was asleep last night yes, for when, when, the, when the AMAs asleep. were happening. But a lot of good okay. things took place. Bruno Mars, he won Artist of the Year. I Lady love him. Gaga. Great, right? Right. Love she him. won Favorite Female Pop Rock artists of uh, Sway's friends Imagine Dragons they, they won favorite pop rock group or duo Bruno Mars once again favorite pop rock album Bruno Mars 24K Jesus. Magic yeah he won about 6 yeah. or 7 he won a lot yeah, of yeah, different things he won a lot <laughs> so Urban deserved won. so deserved Carrie Underwood, Keith Urban, Little Big Town, Coldplay, a lot of winners last night. Marco, maybe one day that'll be you. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Got to get you in the studio. Just got to find a producer. Okay. Got to find a producer. Rich, nice. Uh, producer. Uh, Margo, it's always pl- uh, it's always a treat to have you, you on. So the time goes, that was 30 minutes. That was? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't even feel like it, huh? All right. All right. Uh, anything we else you want to say in closing? It. I know. We kiki in. We kiki in. We kiki in. So you're, listen, listen for clarity. You're not going to sing for us this morning. If you would like me to sing, I can. Throw that beat back on. If you can, no. If you what what what's your favorite song right now? Ooh. Location. Um, oh shit! Yeah, I gotta be able to know Khaled. this too. Okay, okay, yeah, Khaled. Some no, you don't know, know. that. What do you know? What do you singer, like? Singer. What do you like? He's singer. a singer. He's a, what, what do you like? I know, but like female. Female singer. Female. Okay, okay. Female singer. Female singer. Female singer. Scissor. Something from Scissor. Scissor. Oh, shit. Scissor. You ain't I been playing. Never I, mind. No, I love, no, you I come love Scissor. Oh, come on. Come on. What do you have memorized? I well. Um, <laughs> when I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. So, Ooh. so, so. Okay. Yeah. Throw on that. Throw on that beat. Okay. Throw on a Rihanna. Okay. Great. We're gonna throw on a Rihanna. Throw on a Rihanna, and then we'll. I'm out. And we'll go from there. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll from so, there. I love Margo. I love Margo. She's down. All right, Bossy, while we setting up so Rihanna, give out your social media. Let's hey, citizens, warm up. I'm helping you out all week long for your holiday menu, so hit me up. I'm at the Happy Hour WHB for food and drink recipes. Oh. Yo, yeah. citizens, hit oh me up all week long talking about politics. Uh, I am Mike Muse, M-U-S-S-M-E, on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> you can find me everywhere. It's really DB. Real quick, just want to say rest in peace to Malcolm Young from ACDC. Passed away on Saturday. Yes. At DJ Wonder everywhere. Okay, I'm at Real Sway across the board. Marco, um, how can what's your social media so people can reach you directly? At Margo Bingham. Don't forget the T. Oh, at the Margo. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting, I was <laughs> like, what, I was like that's, Bingham that's actually, that's all I got. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. that's, it's just my name. I'm not bad. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so you can sing us out and, uh... Yeah, pick a, f- pick a fun Rihanna one. Okay, okay. Something, something, like whatever, whatever. You don't know this one yet? Yeah, I, go, go, go. You got it? You got it? Yeah. All right. You got it? You got it ready? I got it, got it, got it. Call me rude boy, boy, can you get it up? Call me rude boy, boy, is it thick enough? Take it, take it, name it, name it. gentlemen and on that note yo you sound good i like that i like that you just jumped on top of that i ain't mad at that you hear that rich that was great that was awesome you already got some ideas yep all right margo thank you for coming by yeah i love you guys i love you too she's got to have it on november 23rd on netflix and on that note we have nothing left to say it's sway in the morning only from shay 45 